as the world becomes more environmentally aware. Recycling and upcycling are growing in popularity, but it isn't easy for crafters who create these products to bring them to market. Lucretia Fulton is a social entrepreneur who recognized the need for a fair trade approach in the sector of the industry. And she explained to Zaki how and why she has built her business. Life has quite literally been a journey for Lucretia Poulton and her travels have taken her across Southern Africa and all the way to the UK, Ireland and Europe. However, she always saw Africa as her home and eventually she made her way back to her starting point. A circle had been completed but it was also a new beginning and she decided to use her business and marketing skills, experience and contacts to pursue humanitarian aims. This was the birth of Afri Crafters and the realization of a dream that can be traced back to her childhood days. In Paolo Coelho's book, The Alchemist, he speaks of one's personal legend. This is one's meaning in life. One of my biggest highlights of working on Mela is meeting so many people who are following their personal legends. And one of these people is the founder of Afri Crafters, Lucretia Bolton. Lucretia, it's so wonderful to meet you. Hi, Zakia. You spent a large portion of your childhood traveling. How has this shaped who you are today? As a family, my dad would often tell us, let's just jump in the car and just take a drive. And because we were in a part of the Northern Kezadin, which is so beautiful, there's so much to see and do. We would see different things, we'd meet different people. You become humble because you have a tendency to interact with so many different types of people at so many different levels. So it just opens you up. What inspired Afrocrafters? While I was traveling, I came across some basket makers. Having chatted to them, I found that the biggest challenge they faced was getting their products out into a tourist market. And I thought, how can I make a difference to these people's lives? And then I became a part of the Business Women's Association. I sat on their board. They gave me different ideas and different thought processes on how I could take this through. And that's what planted the seed for Afrocrafters. What is the aim of Afrocrafters? We specialize in recycled crafts. So I go out sourcing products and crafters that specifically use recycled material to create crafts. Lucretia, I would love to see one of your workshops. Absolutely, let's go on to see it. When I decided to go into the direction of zero to landfill and recycle crafts, I found it very difficult finding people who actually work with that. Driving along the road one day, I found this place. Love the fact that he recycled old car parts and oil drums and basically any scrap metal that he can find. Had a chat with Lazarus and we found a synergy between us because my main focus was originally indigenous and traditional design work. This piece here is made up of springs, gear levers, bolts, nuts, all from a car. Then we call this pop art. Let's move over there. Lucretia, this dragon is magical and mystical. It invokes such beautiful images of fantasies. What is it made out of? I don't even know what those parts are. If you look carefully, you'll find old car parts, gear levers, plug points. The wings are made out of the bonnets of the car and side panels. Gorgeous, absolutely fabulous. Lucretia, I would love to explore some more and meet Lazarus. So let's do it. Lazarus, can you give us some background on your collaboration with AfriCrafters? AfriCrafters does more of advertising for us and they come with other ideas and it makes our lives easy. She's also an agent who has got import and export permit. How has the relationship with AfriCrafters benefited the community? At the end of the day, we are recycling, so there's nothing which we throw away. And we produce something like this and someone can enjoy it in their garden or in their workplace. It will bring more jobs to everyone and the community. We are now in the Valley of a Thousand Hills, just outside of Hillcrest, and we are going to visit Gugu and Londi. They are a family of three generations where Gugu learned to beat from her mom and she's now passed the skill down onto Londi. Lucretia, why is it so important that artists are remunerated fairly for their talents? We must understand that it takes a lot of time and energy, effort, skill to do what they actually do. We often find that buyers will negotiate without taking into consideration that there's labor involved, there's time involved. I am able to assist the crafter to market their products at a much better price range for them to make a good reasonable profit to sustain their homes and families. Shall we go meet the family? 
Hello, Sabana. Hello, Sabana. <laughs> Sakya, that's Londi, and this is Gugu. Hello. Hello. They are going to tell you their story. Thank you for having me in your home. This is all so beautiful. Londi, where did you learn the skill of beading? I've learned the skill of beading from my mother, who learned it from her mom, my grandmother. Can you show us some of your happy and bright products? Here are the bracelets. We use these beautiful colors here. These are the Zulu beads. They're colorful, they're lovely. People love colorful things. Here also are the pen covers, and then put the pens inside here. And then we have this necklace here. We call this necklace Cleopatra. We also have the hair clips for the little girls. The hat bracelets are also lovely. We also do the beads for these cards and Ruth's Creations packages them for us. Lucretia, what advice do you have for artists wanting to get their work out there? Social media, amazing platform, but besides that, there's a lot of government initiatives that allow artists to come onto programs that develop them in terms of the business side, in terms of the skills side, and also connecting with corporate in their areas. And I understand that it, it is a difficult one because of the whole fear of the unknown, but if an artist can just get past that, I think they would be well on their way to a successful business. Lucretia, you and the work you do are absolutely wow. Thank you for the day. And thank you for taking the time to meet with me. 